Hi, I'm Derek L. Cottingham with Pride, and I'm so happy to be speaking with all of you about Black Twitter, a people's history on Hulu. And there's also been a lot of pushback about do the docuseries from Black Twitter. You know, what's your response to all of that? Well, have they seen it? First of all, <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's a, I think it's a lot of response to the to the trailer, which mm -hmm. we totally mm -hmm. embrace and accept and expect as mm -hmm. well, because. That's how Black Twitter operates, yeah. and that's what we expected, and we really wanted to engage. And this man over here, he likes the smoke, <laughs> and so he actually it. likes to, to to get into it. So I mean, it's yeah. I I, I think it's I I at first was not gonna say anything, and then as I often <laughs> to tell myself, <laughs> and then it's just then when people were like, "I'm the feds, I'm the ops, and who is this for?" The and then blacks. I start, who yeah, are who are these new blacks? Who just got? <laughs> and I would look at people's dates. I'm like, "You just got here 2019," and and then so then there were a, a few processes I would go through, which is one when they go, "Who would? Who is this for?" Blah blah blah. I can tell this is gonna be some woke. There. And I go. Oh, well, it's that now we can have a different conversation, right? When it's like, who is this for? Well, that's a now we that's a different entry point. So that's when I would start to engage and I would say, this is why we made this is like this is who it's for. It's for you, it's for generations that aren't even here yet, right? So now we can engage in a different conversation. And so for me, that's where I was like trying to engage from. And what I also had to take a step back and go, like, well, why are they saying this, right? And what mm -hmm. I what I found is like, you know, as certainly Black culture in America, we're very skeptical mm -hmm. when something about our culture is being talked about or reported or being like, or, even though we're not exposing Black Twitter in twenty twenty four, it still feels that way to some people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Obviously, and so I could understand the yep. the the skepticism and the sensitivity in which it feels like, well, what are they going to be saying about us? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And what is it going to, that's such a, and because people love it so much, yeah. right? You don't, you don't care if it's something you don't like, I mean, you don't care if it's something you don't love, right? Yeah. And so for me, once I could say, look, I get where, I get the skepticism, I get the concern, I get that, um, but here's where it came from. Mm -hmm. Here's why we're doing it, right? So then we can, again, we can have a secondary conversation and just like, this looks like trash. You know what I mean? Well, it's like, that's just, a, okay, it looks like trash. Mm -hmm. Cool. I really didn't try to engage with yeah. that because that's just, a, you could be on, on the subway just saying something, whatever, I don't like this or whatever. But now if you're saying other things, now we can actually have another. And I found as I was engaging in those conversations, either people would still go, yeah, but still whatever. Or, you know, I thought about it like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And so now, but again, I find I like to engage because I feel like a lot of times when you engage, People don't really bring you that same smoke once mm -hmm. you do engage. You know what I mean? If they do, they do whatever. They and I just leave that over respond. there, huh? That, they don't think you're gonna respond. That's they, just they don't think you're gonna respond. That's like Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ain't no punk. I'm here. <laughs> I think it's too very intrinsic to like what Black Twitter represents. Like we are sort of the litmus test for what is allowed in like the culture. Yeah, yeah. and it's sort of like. It's a great point. I would be upset if they actually didn't react. Right. Yeah. Because it's like, well, did we not do it, our job? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely. I welcome the smoke as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got to welcome the smoke. Yeah, and I can't wait for everybody to actually watch it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then, then we'll see what they do. I think it's hard to convey, like, anything. It's like, it, when we do the doc, right, we say, like, describe black Twitter in one word, right? It's hard to convey all that black Twitter is in one word, right? Mm -hmm. Just like it's hard to convey what black this doc is in 90 seconds, mm -hmm. right? It's almost impossible, right? So I, I totally get it. You're just trying to just do as much as you can in that mm -hmm. time to kind of say, like, hey, check this thing out. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, and you got a lot of black people just got a little, we all got this communal PTSD of like, oh, Lord, how they about to present us, what they about yeah. to do. Of course, so. absolutely. Because it's just so, so, so rare, I think, that, you know, we, we feel like we don't get as many chances as everybody mm -hmm. else. So it's like, you know, we got to show ourselves in a good light. But we also have to tell a true and authentic story. Yeah. So I yeah. think yeah. the doc really speaks to that mm -hmm. as well.